Thousands of people across the state are misusing the disabled parking placards. That's according to a new state audit just released today. It's pretty apparent that there's abuse going on. The report found inadequacies in the California DMV and lacking oversight of the placard program. News tonight, CBS 13's Drew Balea is live in downtown Sacramento with more on the parking placard problems. Drew? Yeah, we all know that parking in many places comes at a premium, which is why these spots close to the door are reserved for those in need, those who have those handicap passes. But according to this new state report, thousands of people are using those passes inappropriately. It's a vital service. For years, Curtis Walker has relied on his handicap parking pass. It prevents you from having to deal with hassles. Walker got the pass from his doctor after having back surgery. It's a coveted possession. People ask me to use my placard all the time. Having a handicap parking pass has some clear benefits that can be taken advantage of. For instance, you can stay in meters as long as you want and you don't have to pay. This is a system that has been just completely, completely um, uh, stricken by abuse for, for decades now. Former Assemblyman Mike Gatto pushed for a review of the Department of Motor Vehicles' disabled placard program. And every time someone abuses the system, they are taking away that spot from someone who really needs it and deserves it. The report released today by the state auditor found poor application vetting and little follow-up on the placard program. There's all, always a potential for misuse. According to the report, 73% of approved pass applications lacked enough information to even be considered. Some of the medical providers that were signing off on the uh, or certifying that these individuals needed the placard um, weren't necessarily authorized. On the back end, renewals happened without much oversight. The auditors found roughly 26,000 permanent placards were issued for people 100 years old or over. But the problem is the state's population of people 100 or older is only 8,000. It's pretty apparent that there's abuse going on. The auditors call on the DMV, legislators and law enforcement to develop ways to reduce the placard abuse by this fall. The DMV for a statement and they did send us a statement saying that they agree with the recommendations from the state auditor's office and that they've already begun implementing some of those recommendations, including cracking down on those handicap pass abusers by going out with sting operations and more enforcement. Those numbers are pretty wild. Yeah. All right, Drew, thanks so much for that live report. Now, this audit had us wondering tonight, how easy is it to actually get a disabled parking placard? Well, all you have to do really is fill out an application, have a doctor sign it, and then submit the paperwork. Now, some say that it's as easy as having an audiologist say that you have balance issues and can't walk very far or even perhaps have a psychiatrist cite your depression.